have been asked by some old stalwarts of football because I've been now engaging with people whilst working on this project. I've been engaging with the older people and they've been telling me, please, let's get something together. And I'm telling them it can be done. It can be done because the difference now is that we have a government that is willfully trying to assist people. But, unfortunately, the people on the ground aren't schooled enough yet to be able to present because what works in the first world is being able to present something. People must be able to see the picture from your concept. And then the government would support if, if, if we started a soccer club that encompassed Langa, Kugli, Tunyangaka, like Seven Stars did, the government would pump money into it. But getting it off the ground is the most difficult thing to do. Because you have to understand who are you going to bring on board and you have to keep it open. You have to make sure that all the club players who should be part of it are part of it. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems. That's because exactly what I want to ask. Yeah. Um, basically, just to lead us, since 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 you can see it so far yeah. that um, 2010 yeah. is gonna come and go without yeah. people benefiting. Now, because you can see this, don't you think? Um, and just give us also what would be the advice. But first of all, don't you think 2010 coming here will expose um, the situation that is right now? Mm -hmm. And since you can see it, the re the results. Don't you also think that um, there will be projects being organized, they have sustainable been. projects, soccer projects, they instead of having a Google to league like right yeah, now, yeah. Um, maybe organize a Google to FC yeah. and a Langa FC and so on. Yeah. Don't you think with 2010 that can happen? It will happen, hence these guys are now asking me to lead yeah. the charge. And don't you think because 2010 will they want They want to, to piggyback on the euphoria yeah. for 2010. Everybody's talking soccer development. Though we know, I mean, SAFA have now a, this APSA league. Yeah? When a sponsor, it's part of the whole construction of football uh, contracts. When a sponsor like APSA gives 20 million, 30 million over three years to the league, if you broke that money down, you got the chance to look at what it's supposed to do that money. You would find that written into those contracts, maybe 10, 5% is supposed to go to development. It's, an, it's, an, it's, an, it's a known thing, fact that most of the money, some of the money should be going to towards developing the game. But in practical terms, Nobody ever spends their time developing the game. They develop players for their teams. The professional sides do not have the time, they don't have the patience to develop players. They come into the township, set up a training course for half an hour, four hours, six hours, and all they are looking for is the germs, the beautiful players that you can still mold and make soccer stars. So they grab those and they take them into their camps and try and create 